everyone. Well, that blob you see in the back is, we call it Panzer Putty, but it's made by AK. It's a putty for painting with in, um, acrylic paints. Um, I had to repaint this thing three times. As you can, so here's where I'm got the first coat of blue on. Now I'm trying to get it ready to put the black on. Uh, this Panzer Putty worked well for this. Um, you got to watch the stuff. It migrates <laughs> like sags, <laughs> like hot wax on a candle in time. So right now I'm thinning it out so I can fit it in there. So as soon as you get it done, spray it. Don't wait overnight. You know, it will not stay. It just will slide right down the model. I mean, it's sticky. You can use it to hold parts when you're painting it too, but it just does not. So I'm pushing. Anyway, I'm pushing this in the corners because I'm trying. I gotta do the the rear fin. There, I'm showing you what it looks like. It looks like tar. Here's the back end of it, nice and sharp as usual. There, I'm just pulling off like that. I didn't do the back yet, but I'm just showing you. Now this is done, but I wasn't, oops, th throw it on the floor, why don't you? I didn't like the doors and they were quite rough um, at the bottom and I couldn't get it to smooth out. So I repainted it and I gave it the dip because I didn't like it at all. So I restarted it all over again. Now this is a repainting. What you don't see here, you can barely notice, is I did some shadow painting on the upper parts, lighting the top of the roof. I made some um, transparent blue. In other words, I took the normal color and added a lot of um, gloss. Here I'm mixing it, kind of show you what I'm doing. There's the black. Then there's the putting the balancing clear in that makes it stick to metal and plastic and that stuff works good I actually use it on Vallejo it seems to work now what I need to do is I'm kind of like notice I'm using two bottles now I'm adding transparent clear to where I get it about 50% clear uh, transparent or less that way I can do several passes over to get this uh, better uh, transition I felt other guys know how to do it better than I do but right now I'm making the door closers as you can see in the corner the black is painted already up there in the upper left um, the door ha not handles but there are pockets you stick your hand in and the little thing swings away I never got them stuck on yet, but they're ready to be done. Here's I'm making the billets, a billet of plastic to make the mirrors, and I'm gluing the heck out of it. Now I made the um, knockoffs. Um, I didn't know my camera went down, so you're getting the end of it, not me making it. So I'm painting with this chrome pen, which works real well for the tires. This goes in the center of the tires. Still got to add a valve spring, a valve spring, valve stems, and these black things. There's ten of them that go around the edge of the rim, on the inside of the rim. That's going to be fun. All right, I'm painting the, the thing you knock with a hammer to get it off because there's virtually no um, lug nuts that I could see. I'm just hurry up and painting them. Yes, three whole colors, silver, black, and blue. This 
been a week having to repaint this thing. Cool. Took two days to strip it. I started that last week to get it clean down to where I needed it. My, I'm using the interior blue because I thought it would paint better. I don't think I'm right. Here I'm making new seats for it because the the Corvette seats in it are not up to the task of what the arrow is on the car or the tires or the motor. But um, anyway, I'm making new seats. wasn't sure of the height so I made one taller than the other and I just cut it down after I figured out this is the side profile almost looks like an aircraft seat don't it gee I wonder where I got that idea then I went and I bent them at that line which you can't see um, to make them kind of like whiter at the hips. It really didn't take long to make. It just, I was making them, waiting for stuff to dry, goofing with his paint job. See, yeah, there I'm bending them a little right there. They're a little cupped to make that outside edge stick out when it's on the side. Yes, by the way, I know one is fatter than the other and I end up having to trim it, but I will say I usually do fighters or single seat aircraft, so one seat you don't have to worry about it much two identical ones good luck well near identical see you know, this one's taller and I'm showing you the wheels with the what do you call them things there's the paint job that one ain't done that's when it gets stripped <laughs> I think I'd have to back look. I'd have to back that up and look at it. Because if I don't have the shark pin, the 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 fin on the side on the back, then that's the new paint job. I'm cutting the holes out for the lap belt and that. The upper holes are for a shoulder belt. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do. I used a um, milliput and I bought brand new stuff and they had this stuff sealed and it got hard. So the other one must have been old. I was complaining about when I made the tires and I had that new but I thought I'd use up all the old. Dipping my fingers in water, smooth out, kind of halfway measuring it so I can get it to fit in there putting a little hump between the legs yes it does come off with soap and water that Millie put on your hands says it's a skin irritant well, I'm more of an irritant than that is so anyway Yeah, I got it speeded up. It looks like I'm just hovering over stuff, but I'm not. 
Thought I'd better clean that up a bit. I was shocked. I thought I'd have to make more, uh, mix up more putty, but I didn't have to. Now I'm doing the back. I was looking at it. I wasn't sure what type of chair, uh, seats to make, and I looked it up and. I'm still not sure if I like them. I had to go back through and straighten stuff up. Making a headrest right now. Now I'm taking some uh, Tamiya putty with a stippling brush and I'm stippling a pattern. Right now it looks like a very nasty shag carpet. And what you do is you go back and sand that down a little. It gives it somewhat of a nice texture. If I'd have waited a little bit or stayed up longer to watch the um, Milliput cook off, I could have probably done it directly into the melee put. I wish it would have, but I didn't. As you can see, it's really quite rough. Looks like terry cloth. Oh, after I actually didn't get, I sanded all the bumps down just to keep it rough. Right now I'm doing a, notice it's painted the blue of the interior. The rest is going to be painted black. The reason why I showed you the can of um, Tester's doll coat is I sprayed the I sprayed the seat where the so if it bleeds through it ain't gonna bleed through and I just started stippling stippling the seat and that way the tape will um, the paint won't bleed under the tape as easy. I got that off a car modeler all these years. I've been fighting it. I don't remember the guy's name either. He does a lot of painting detail work um, on real cars and motorcycles. And he, he shoots all the stuff with car paint, all of his models and that, and it they turn out well. I'm just getting a coat of black. They're nowhere near done yet, so... Because I haven't got the backs or anything. Now I'm pulling the tape off. And it didn't turn out too bad. A little bit of touch up here and there. Well, there's the end of her. That's, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing.